Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Hey, this is the brother of my Aquadar. I'm from the Great Millstone Camp here in Cleveland. I'm back with another lesson. Uh, Lord willing, it's edifying. First and foremost, I would love to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kwadash. Hey, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. Blessings and safety to the men, women, and children that believe on the name Yahweh Shimi Shah in truth and sincerity. Uh, to you, I say Shalom. All right, and um. I'm going to title this lesson Esau's last snare before his fall or before his destruction. Okay, you know, this devil, he's going to have one last snare. Okay, and that snare is the tiny technology, the chimpanzee. Okay, and Everything that's, you know, taking place today, you know, all the, you know, major events, you know, going on, going on around the world, you know, number one being the whole Russia and Ukraine situation, you know, these different events that's taking place around the world are going to lead up into that tiny technology. Okay, this, you know, this devil, he has an agenda. Which he's not going to be able to be able to fulfill it, all right? Because the scriptures say that the Lord have set boundaries, which you know this devil cannot pass, man. Okay, and um, you know this devil has you know a whole agenda. Okay, the N to the W to the O. Okay, and within that N to the W to the O. Okay, he wants to uh, insert little 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 tiny technology devices into humans into people okay and you know you see these things going on like i said the whole russia and ukraine situation okay you got you know the inflation which is going to turn into hyperinflation you know the devaluing of the dollar okay all these things are going to you know usher in uh uh that that, that the tiny technology man Okay, but I want to read a quick precept. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. It says, Let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Okay, okay, and um, you know, that's that's not talking about the spiritual, you know, demon Satan, that's talking about uh, his uh, physical counterpart. Okay, his physical counterpart, which is Esau Edom, these elites, okay, the Rob Childs, you know, these rich bankers. Okay, we're not in the darkness of these devils, okay, devices, man, okay, now let's go into this word device, okay, Strong's G, 3540, Naima, Naima, it says no, Ama, okay, a mental perception, a thought, an evil purpose. Okay, we're not ignorant. Okay, we're not in the darkness of this devil's evil purpose. Okay, and why is that? Okay, because hey man, this devil is fulfilling prophecy. Okay, the scriptures say the king's heart is in the hands of the Lord as rivers of water. He turneth it whithersoever he will. Okay, now this Lord put the spirit on this devil to get certain things done in a timely matter to fulfill prophecy. You know why this devil thinks he upsets prophecy? Okay, he actually fulfills it. Okay? And, you know, him, you know, uh, uh, inserting these things in people is prophecy. Okay? And it's ultimately a, a trap. It's ultimately a snare. Okay? No matter how this devil pr uh, present it to you, it's ultimately a trap, man. Okay? Now, Let's go to Revelations, the 13th chapter, okay? It's Revelations 13, and I'm going to get straight to the point, man. Okay, this is Revelations 13. In 16, it says, He causeth all 
both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, man. He calls them. Okay, so which means this devil, he's going to uh, create certain uh, situations, okay, so that he could usher in or enforce this, okay? Just like, you know, the up and coming famine that's approaching. Okay? You know, this famine is being engineered by Esau. Okay? His whole main objective is to what? Collapse this economy. Okay? Collapse this economy, man. Okay? You know, bring you people down to zero. Okay? Then he could, you know, possibly deceive you into getting that tiny technology. But ultimately, we know he's going to He's going to, it's going to be forced upon you, man. You're not going to have no other avenues to run to but that. Okay. Because guess what? You didn't choose to run to your by Shimi al You know, and I'm talking to you, you Israelites out there, man. Okay. See, the scriptures say, uh, uh, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Remember now thy creator in the days that I use while the evil days come not, man. But you chose not to. So the only avenue you're going to be able to run down to is that, 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 hey, that tiny technology. Okay. But it says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay. Now I like to go to, the, to Galatians. Okay. The Galatians, the sixth chapter, and let's go to the 17th verse so we can expound on that word uh, mark. Okay. Shalaki. Like All right, this Galatians. This is Galatians chapter 6 and 17. I'm just going to read it. It says, uh, From henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear the mark, for I bear in my body the marks of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, man. Now let's go into this word marks. Okay, let's see why this devil, you know, he's so adamant about, you know, enforcing this, man. Okay? Okay, this is, uh... Strong's G, 4742, stigma. Stigma. Stigma, okay? Stigma, the Greek. Stigma, okay? It says... Damn, this devil in his damn streets, man. It says, a mark pricked in or branded upon the body to ancient oriental usage slaves and soldiers bore the name or or the stamp of their master or commander i'm gonna read this back it says to ancient oriental usage slaves and soldiers bore the name or the stamp of their master or commander branded or pricked Another word for prick is cut into their body to indicate what master or general they belong to. And there were even some devotees who stamped themselves in this way with the token of their gods, man. Okay? You know, so ultimately, man, you, you, you niggas is saying Esau, your God, man. No, this devil is your God, okay? Satan is your God, okay? Not Yahabah Shimi Shah, man. Okay, so ultimately, you know, the individuals who run down and take it, Lord willing, I'm not a part of that number. Okay? You're ultimately saying that, hey, this devil's your God, man. Okay? Let's go to the... Uh, and like, like I said, a lot of you people are going to, you know, run and, and, and go and take it, man. Okay? You know, because when all hell break loose, you know, ain't no fool down here. You're going to do what you do best. Okay, the scriptures say, war unto you that run down to Egypt for help. Okay, you're not going to run to your high by Shimei Okay, because you were supposed to run to your high by Shimei before these evil days came about. Okay, so you're going to run to your daddy E as usual. All right, let's go to the book of John, chapter 8. Let's go to the verse 44. Okay, it says, Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust. Of your father you will do, man. Everything this devil lusts you niggas to do, you, you run and do it. Okay? And let's let's go into this word devil, man. 
Let's see who the devil is, man. Let's see if the devil is a red man made of fire uh, with a pitchfork and some horns on his head, man. Okay? Strong's G1228. Diabolos. 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 It says a prone to slander, slanderous, accusing falsely, a calumniator, false, a false accuser, a slanderer. Okay? And who's that false accuser? Okay? Esau. You know, here it is. This devil... You know, has been uh, 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 leading us, uh, uh, leading us to go off as a nation. Okay, but then he runs to the heavenly Father and points the finger, man. Okay, okay, here it is. You know, you see this devil with this whole uh, uh, New York situation that just took place. Okay, you see this devil. He's about to accuse, you know, us uh, uh, falsely. You can see it. You can see it, man. You can see, you know, uh, uh, the things, you know, he's going to try to, you know, point to the uh, uh, BHI, man. You know, you know, if, if you know what that is, you know what they call it, you know, they call us. OK, you can see the devil setting things up to, hey, you know, we, we, we see it, man. We see it. That's why the scripture said we're not ignorant of his devices, man. We're not. Because ultimately, the scripture say the Lord revealeth his secrets unto his service, the prophets, man. OK. So it says, um, metaphorically applied to a man, okay? Metaphorically applied to a man. So the devil is a man, okay? Metaphorically applied to a man who by opposing the cause of Yahweh may be said to act the part of the devil or to side with him, okay? So who opposes the will of the heavenly father? This damn devil, man. You know, everything the Lord set up as righteous, okay? This devil, he does the opposite, man. Okay? The, the, the things that the Lord said is wicked, this devil set up as righteous, man. He's opposing the will of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? He opposes the will of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? Matter of fact, think, let me see. Matter of fact, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 4, it said, Who's, who opposeth? And exalted himself above all that is called God or that is worship so that he is as God sitting in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God, man. Who's guilty of this, man? You know, is it Ham? Is it Ishmael? Is it Moab? Is it Ammon? Is it Jephthah? No, it's this damn devil Esau. OK, the scripture said the earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. He cover up the faces of the judges thereof, man. OK, he portrays himself to be the most high. And his son, man. This is why in this society, he has an image set up of a, of a, of a so-called white man with blind hair and blue eyes, man. Okay? Which is not the, the, the correct depiction of our, our of our big brother, Yahweh Shai, according to the scriptures, man. You know, this devil, he, you know, he, he, he wants to be like the Moza. And ultimately, he wants to be all-knowing. And this is why he wants to, you know, implant that tiny technology within the skin of, of people, man. But like I said, man, he's not going to fulfill, he's not going to fulfill his, uh, his agenda, okay? Because as long as this devil has, uh, has it in his agenda to bring down a uh, uh, Babylon, to bring down this place, all right, to uh, 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 collapse this society, the Lord is with him, okay? But when this devil has in his mind to rebuild and restore these, uh, uh, restore things, okay, that's when he's going to realize it's over, Okay, his reign is done, man. This devil knows, man. The scriptures say that uh, he knoweth that he had but a short time. This is why this devil, hey, it says, uh, uh, the devil come not. It says, uh, matter of fact, let me just grab it. Revelations 12 and 12. It says, um, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time. This devil know that his time is, is, is ticking. OK, the Lord has it on his spirit that his time is short. And this is why this devil is moving fast, man. This devil is moving fast, man. OK, this devil is moving fast, man. OK, and before you know it, OK, you know, all hell is going to break loose, man. The famine is going to be about different plagues, you know. And, and guess what? He's going to come with his hand. You know, he's going to come with his hand as if he cares. You know, oh, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, you know, here, you know, take this, 
You know, it's going to be $5,000 on it, and, you know, we can get back up to running, man. You know, this is going to be the new currency, your, your ID, everything is going to be on this, man. We lost, you know, all data of everything. You have to take this, man. And you people going to run and take it, thinking that this devil, he has your best interest in his, in, his, in, his, in his heart, okay? The scriptures say, if he doeth any good, he doeth it unwillingly, and, and at the last, he would declare his wickedness, man. He would declare his wickedness. The scripture said, if he have need of thee, he will smile upon thee and put thee in hope. Okay? The scripture also said, if this devil make you bear, he would not be sorry for it, man. See, this is why the scriptures is very important, man, to apply these scriptures, man, because when we enter into this time and we think back on the scriptures, we're going to know how to move, man. That's why the scriptures say wisdom and knowledge still shall be that stability of that time, man. Uh, wisdom is applying the scriptures, man. We see, a lot of you people are going to run down to take that tiny technology, okay? And guess what? You're going to uh, you're going to have a, a, a harsh judgment, man. Revelations 14 and 9, it reads, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast or his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the angels and in the presence of the Lamb, man. All right, you're going to be tormented with fire and brimstone, man. You're going to be tormented with fire and brimstone, man. Fire from the intercontinental ballistic missiles and concentrated fire from the chariots, man. That's going to be your judgment, if you run down and take that tiny technology, man. Okay? So, hey, man, you know, I hope this was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahabai Shimi Yahweh Bahasham Rakakwadash. Trust in Yahabai Shimi Yahweh with all your heart. Keep up hope. We almost home. Shalom.